Welcome back. My name is Ryan and I'm going to be talking about the new IKEA art event for 2018. So this is going to be an eight part series about each part is going to be about each artist. And if you're unfamiliar, I'm going to briefly describe what the art event at IKEA is. Is every year IKEA does these kind of art events and traditionally they've done posters of either photography or drawings or paintings and they've done them they're fairly inexpensive and then it's an art event and they release them and they're beautiful and it's exciting and it's wonderful and then a few weeks later we find it in the clearance bin for a dollar and it looks terrible so this year they're doing something different instead of these easily falling apart pieces of paper they're doing sculpture so we're going to be talking about eight pieces of sculpture done by the eight artists the first artist we're going to talk about is Arkiv Kilmanisa Arkiv Kilmanisa is an artist from Indonesia he was born in 1979 so I've been doing some research on all of these artists and this is an artist that I had a lot of problems with um, because when I was going through the internet the internet only wanted to show me what was happening now and in the past few years. It was really hard and difficult to find things that he had done prior to the last 10 years. And so as I was going through this research and as I was looking for what to uh, find and say about him, I couldn't find an educational background, I couldn't find anything like that, but I could find two websites. Both of them are more gallery-esque websites, um, so there'll be links below. But I also found his Instagram. So we're going to scroll through his Instagram right now and talk about what we see. So as we scroll through the Instagram, we're going to see that right here we're seeing that the first few images are his newest body of work. And they're very abstract and there's a lot of color and there seems to be not a lot going on but we don't know what's going on these also could be works in progress so let's stay tuned he's someone that I will be staying tuned because I did not know anything about him prior to this and now that I've done research I'm actually really interested in his body of work so if we see these now let's scroll up a little more and we see these topographical images that he's doing now these topographical images seem to be very interesting and I can't explain like what's happening or why they're happening, but they're very interesting. And then we scroll up and we start to see like friends and family, maybe they're at a gallery opening. And then we see some sculptural work. So we see like, this is okay. This, so we see something that this artist can do sculpturally. So let's remember what this looks like for later. So, and then we start to see some of his older work. Now this is a lot of what I found is this type of work. So now we're going to start talking about um, who he is as an artist and what we have found. So we're going to start looking through his body of work. And the first thing we're going to look at is these birds. So you see these birds and how they're kind of like this like intersection and they're kind of meeting and overlapping. And there's this really kind of like interesting abstracted view of birds. And his work's great. It's a lot of intersections. So then as we look at, now here's a picture of him in front of one of his paintings. And now we see a variation of the same painting in blue, which is right here. So as you go through his work, you'll start to see that there are variations of the exact same thing in different color combinations. I don't think that's a bad thing. Joseph Alvers did it. Lots of other artists in history have done it. Picasso did it. If you change it the colorway, there's different moods, different feelings, it expresses different emotions. Martha Grothko will tell you that. And then, so we see that he's doing similar things. Well, now we get to his newest work, which is these topographical images. So if we look at this first one, this purple one, you'll see that how like the colors come down and it feels almost like you're on top of a mountain and coming down and you're looking on a map. So like the purple is, this like purple appears like the top of the mountain and then, then you get down to the seashore. So it's really interesting, it's really beautiful. And then here's a red one as well, and I actually prefer this one to the purple one just because color combination, that's personal preference. Now, let's look at what he did for Ikea. Not so interesting. I can't tell, and this is why I say it's not interesting to me, is because when you, we look at his figurative work, 
the animals look clearly like animals. And this, I can't tell if it's supposed to be non-objective. If it is, why is it in the shape of a jellyfish or is it not supposed to be a jellyfish? And also back to the comment I made earlier about color variations. So I can't put out this picture of a in process of him designing the work. So you'll see that there are three different colorways, which is not a bad thing, but does that mean that when they release the object that it's only gonna be in this first colorway? Or is it gonna be in multiple colorways? Cause they are showing a blue and a red and an orange. Now also if we go back to this in production photo, you'll see that the interior of the mold is almost like a topographical map. So is this supposed to be a branch between his figurative work and his topographical images? But again, at the same time, he can do sculptural work. So I'm very unclear on why he chose this image. It's not a successful image to me. It's not great to me for myself. I will not be buying this. So, but I will be following him and there's a link below to following his Instagram so that you can follow his work if you find him super interesting. So hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for the next few segments on this uh, IKEA art event. As of right now, we don't have a release date. We don't have a price for the images. We don't have sizing. So we have an estimated sizing based on the other images, but again, we're not sure. So stay tuned for more information.